Video games are much like any other media out there. Some of these games go on to be masterpieces that shape generations for years to come. And some of them are Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Not all of them are cinema. But much like media, there is no better piece of gaming out there that can outbeat those that mean something to an individual. Games that have impacted us in one way or another. They can be either classics like Mario, Zelda, or Sonic, or something more modern like a Call of Duty, Team Fortress 2, or Fortnite. From timeless gems to famous indies, there's always something that means something. Even Bubsy can mean something. There is someone out there where Bubsy is their sentimental game. What I'm getting at is that video games are special, and any game or series that you can think of could mean the world to someone. And it's why I'm making this video to talk to you guys about the franchise that means the most to me. Sometimes it's hard for me to convey how important this game is. When I was a babby, I had an N64 and a PlayStation. But mainly I played on the N64. And with that, the game I played the most was the original Super Smash Brothers. You know, it's kind of funny looking back because I remember that I never knew how to do the intricate moves of up and B to do a different attack. I was not a smart child. But I also remember how great it felt by beating the game on very easy, and being able to defeat Master Hand with the help of my main man Kirby, and then go on to unlock Jigglypuff. Which then I proceed to erase my file so I can do it again. Smash has always been an integral part of my life. Back when I was 8, I got Melee for the first time at one of my birthdays, and to this day, that was one of the best presents I've ever received, Melee fucking rocked. Then I remember getting a Nintendo Wii and a copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. After I had to deal with getting two shots in a row, which... That wasn't fun. And when I got my first part-time job working at a party city, I saved up all of my paychecks in order to get a 3DS, and you guessed it, Super Mario 3D Land. Oh yeah, and the newest Smash Brothers. So it's because of that, whenever a new Nintendo console comes out, I make sure to get it just for the sole purpose of getting the next Super Smash Bros. And with the newest entry of the series, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, it's, well... a big deal, I should say. Ultimate was the Smash hype train cranked up to 11. This wasn't just a game, it was a landmark. Doing some incredible things like bringing back everyone from the past games, and I do mean everyone, to having unique classic modes, a ton of stages, a shitload of music, and a story mode that was... there. It's clear that Sakurai and the team went above and beyond when it came to this entry, and made something that by all means would be improbable to ever see happen again at this magnitude. Especially since the man himself is semi-retired and now living his dream as a YouTuber. But you know what, let's cut the crap. 
The tagline of everyone is here and celebration of gaming might be the main headline of this game, but it's not the real reason we were glued to stuff like maintenance schedulings of all things. No, it was because we were more anticipating who was gonna be added to the fight. Who was gonna be next to be bored by Kirby? And it was insane on the characters we got. The hype factor was at maximum with this one. And this is why we're here today. Because I always want to do something of this caliber, and Smash would be the best starting point, I wanted to do a top whatever. Top 5, top 10, top... 1... Uh, one of those lists. So hey, I decided why not make it a top whatever on the newcomers of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. What could go wrong? So with this announcement comes three things that you should really know about this list. Number one, this list will be based on my overall opinion and hype of the character, rather than how they play. What I mean by that is these tier lists, these glorious tier lists right here, fuck them. I want to make this list a fair assessment of the characters, and not if they can be banned from tournaments. Also, the reason I'm choosing not to do it by how much I play them is the fact that I don't play all the newcomers. Mainly because... Th there's like... over 80 other characters or something. So yeah, this list will rank characters for a number of reasons, but all of it will go towards the characters' inclusion, and not if I play them over my boy DDD. Number two, which is more for the Echo Fighters, but I will compare them to their counterparts. Since they're characters that are supposed to play somewhat similar to other characters, I will have to judge them via who would I choose first if I had to. And number three, because I thought these were cool and so did everyone else, I'm going to be adding Deluxe Me Costumes. Now, deluxe Mii's are a fan term, so the definition can be a bit loose, but for this list, I'm gonna be going for the costumes that were part of the Mii showcases, and if they have a hat or something that looks like a certain character, that would completely cover up their... P pod person faces. Basically, if they look like the character rather than the Mii, it counts. Meaning Sans from Undertale, Cuphead, Vault Boy, Creeper and Pig, Bomberman, and Doomslayer are gonna be on this list. If I missed one, well, crap. And with all that said, that leaves us a list of 28 entries. Hey, remember when Sakurai said that this entry would likely not have a lot of characters in it? Then this game went on to have the most newcomers in any entry this far? Life is funny sometimes. So for the next couple of weeks, expect a new video per day that will be counting down my top favorite fighters to join the ultimate fight. Why one per day? Unless you're watching the compilation right now. Well, my dear viewer, it's because YouTube really likes constant uploads and clout is good. So that. Oh yeah, and before I forget, an important disclaimer that this list is my own list. Or as the internet likes to put it, the wrong opinion. So if you wish to continue to watch this, then you're contractually obligated not to burn me on the cross because my list doesn't validate your opinion. I mean, I doubt that would stop you, so just please don't hurt me for this. So now just sit back, relax, and let's just start this thing as we celebrate Smash Ultimate being five years old already. Jesus Christ, where did the time go? As I present to you all the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Top 28 Newcomer Special.